Good morning, guys. Good morning. Oh, Tuesday morning, back to normal schedule. There is school today. It was kind of perfect that the tropical storm wanted to hit yesterday when there was already no school. So I didn't have to worry about the kids walking in that weather. It was crazy or driving in it. Oh, it was horrible. But anyways, so we are here Tuesday. Good morning, Mom. And whew, got a lot of new things going on. So I just figured live and chatting with you guys was the best way to talk about it. Not that I need to explain myself to anyone, but I've gotten so many messages on both my Instagram and my Facebook of everyone asking like, are you no longer being a health and fitness coach? Are you no longer gonna be motivating us? I need my daily motivation girl. And people are so worried that I'm not gonna be doing it anymore. Um, so I just kind of wanted to explain to everybody what was going on. Um, nothing's changing with the health and fitness. I'm still gonna be doing it. Something is like got my allergies going crazy with my eye. It is so itchy. Um, so first, let me start by asking a couple questions to those live, you might be watching a replay, but have you ever felt like you were worthless? And like what you were doing was just kind of like, hmm. it wasn't really fulfilling you. It wasn't really um, helping you out financially like you had wished or not even financially, like just the outcome wasn't what you had wished it would be. That's kind of where I was at. Um, I was doing and still am doing um, the health and fitness business. And it wasn't helping the house in the financial manner that I was hoping. Um, I'm gonna be real transparent with you guys. I had a big goal financially. And you know, I'm, I'm five and a half years of building this business and I have not reached that big financial goal that I had wanted to reach. But I am also not one that gives up. So. Um, I figured, okay, well, let me start growing my real estate biz a little. Um, and where I love doing real estate, it's not like a major passion of mine. Um, but I am a people person. I love the face-to-face, -face, you know, being behind the screen and things like that um, tends to feel very lonely. I'm in this house all day with my fur babies, as much as I love my fur babies. Um, hey, Angelina, as long, uh, you know, as much as I love my fur babies, oops, did I turn that around? I don't, there we go, I turned it around on accident. Um, you know, it tends to get very lonely. And I am such a people person. I love chatting with people, um, but I love the face-to-face, -face, like meeting up and chatting face-to-face. -face. Um, so I had been chatting with Alex for a while about those feelings of like not feeling very worthy. Um, you know, I know what I do is meaningful. I'm helping people change their lives. I'm taking care of my family fur babies, regular babies, my hubby, the house. Like I'm taking care of all of that, but I just felt like there was like, none of that made me feel like I was worth something. Um, and so I was telling Alex that I wanted to find something. He's like, how are you gonna find something that's gonna have you home on days with the kids? That's, you know, not gonna have you at work nine to five sitting behind a desk, which you hate. He's like, I don't want you to be miserable. He's like, so just stay home and, and just do what you're doing. I don't want you to be unhappy. And I kept trying to explain to him, but I am a little unhappy doing what I'm doing. Not that I don't enjoy it. When I tell you I love what I do as a health and fitness coach, I love what I do as a virtual health and fitness coach, but I wanted more. And, um, and it was just funny the way that this transpired of me getting this new job because I wasn't supposed to have my hair appointment until the 11th. Hey, Sylvia. And um, I wasn't supposed to have my appointment until the 11th. But Kayla finally decided that she wanted to do the keratin treatment, that she was done with the frizzy curly hair, that she just wanted to be able to wash it and, and easy blow dry, like just do this. She doesn't have to do a brush. I mean, Kayla's hair was down to here. So her blow drying her whole hair, forget about it. Um, so we got her keratin treatment. So because I was already going in, they had me come in like an hour early and we did my hair. We kind of did all of it at the same time. She put the treatment on Kayla. Kayla had to sit 30 minutes, so she did my color. And then I had to sit for like 20 minutes or so. So then, you know, she combed Kayla through and did all that kinds of stuff. So, hey Brooklyn. Um, so, and as we're there, we're always chatting. I mean, I've known Natalie 
since she was like three or four years old. I was her dance teacher. Then we did competitive dancing together on the same dance squad. Um, like we were just super close. She was like, she was my little sister growing up. And um, she's been doing my hair, Kayla's hair. She did my mom's hair for a while. Um, so for years, she's been doing our hair for years. Um, you know, went to her, her housewarming party, like everything. We're in each other's lives basically, very close. And, um, and she was just talking about how, you know, her assistant was no longer her assistant. Her assistant finally found a full-time job because when she, hey Christy, when she hired her assistant, she knew it was temporary until she found something else. So she was just talking about how, um, she's like, oh, I gotta find a new assistant. And, you know, she was updating on everything since the last time we had been together. Nothing negative about her assistant leaving, just updating me um, and telling me the things she still wanted to do with her room because she had just moved to this new salon. And as she's talking, like light bulbs were going off and my, my wheels were turning in my head. I'm like, okay, this is exactly what I, I want to do. Exactly what I want to do. How can I make this work? And so she's talking and I'm like, I waited a little while and I was like, well, maybe I'll do it. And her eyes lit up and she's like, are you serious? And I was like, yeah, I mean, I want to talk to Alex and the kids because I don't want to make a decision that's going to make it harder for my children and harder for my husband. Um, hey, Wendy. So I was like, just let me talk it over with Alex, Ryan, and Kayla. Let me make sure they're all okay with it because, you know, it's not every day. So like my first day will be tomorrow and I'll work from two to eight. So tomorrow night I won't be here for dinner. I wanted to make sure when things like that happened, my family would be kosher with it and they would be okay with it. I most likely will have their dinners labeled and made in the fridge where all they have to do is put it in the microwave. So I'm still gonna take care of them, but I wanted to make sure that they were okay kind of fending for themselves um, because they have gotten so used to me doing everything. Like they just get up in the morning and get themselves ready. I take care of the dogs and then their Kayla and Ryan's lunches are already ready. Alex's lunches are ready. I just have to put it in his lunch box, but their lunch bags are already packed. I just have to make the sandwiches. I put them at their spots on the table. Then I figure out what they want for breakfast and why my shake is making itself in the blender. I make their breakfast. Um, so by the time they come to sit down from getting dressed, they're ready to eat their breakfast and just chill a little bit for school, stress-free. And Alex, when he's ready to go, his shake and his lunch box are right there. He just grabs it, gives me a kiss and out the door he goes. So they're just used to that. Then they come home, they come home to a clean, organized, smell good house. Uh, laundry's in their room if I did laundry that day for them to put away. Uh, sheets are cleaned, all that kinds of stuff. So, you know, they're used to me doing all those things. And you know, when it's dinner time, it's just kind of like, they ask what's for dinner. <laughs> and then I just let them know what's for dinner. Sometimes I don't know what I wanna make. I usually have it all written down, but, Sometimes I don't, I change my mind and I don't want to make what I had or I couldn't find the food I needed for that specific meal. So I have to make something else. Um, so for me, I just needed to make sure they were going to be okay with it. So I talked with everybody. I was, I originally wasn't going to talk to Alex until I got home, talk face to face, but I was just so excited and I had that excitement feeling that I haven't had in a very long time. Um, so I decided to just start texting him because we were there at our appointment. We got there at like 1030. We were there till like 3, 330 because Kayla's hair alone was like a three, three and a half hour time frame. We cut it first and then she did the process on it. So I was texting with Alex. Um, I chatted with Kayla a little bit. Didn't want to chat in front of Natalie. I didn't want to make Kayla feel you know, obligated to say, yeah, it's fine. So when Natalie had to leave the room, I asked Kayla, you know, my biggest thing with Kayla was we might lose some afternoons, which she's super busy in the afternoon with being um, the photographer for her, for her school paper. Um, being a senior now, there's a lot of after school activities. She's going out with her friends. So, you know, we're not hanging out as much as we used to in the afternoons. Um, so I just wanted to make sure she was okay. Like what if there's a night or a Saturday that I have to work and it's a soccer game, I'm gonna miss a soccer game. You know, I, I don't miss games of hers unless I'm out of town, which usually I even plan my trips around that. So I am there to support her at every single game. Um, and she's like, no, it's fine. You know, you go to all my games. I'm like, well, I'll work it and figure it out to where at least I go to one game a week if I can't make both. But you know, we get her, her calendar ahead of time so we can go over it. I can put Kayla's calendar into the work calendar and stuff like that. So 
Um, so Kayla was okay with it. So then I was texting with Ryan. Hey, Leslie. Then I was texting with Ryan to see how he felt about it. Um, and obviously I was texting in depth with Alex, pros and cons and stuff like that. Um, and then as I was there, I told her, I was like, you know what? I'm in, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take the job. Um, and she was so excited, which makes me so excited. It makes me, Hey Debbie, it makes me feel even more worth something with how excited she is to have me with her. Um, so I'm super excited to do this. So what I'm going to be doing in the new job that I'm starting tomorrow, again, um, you know, Sometimes the hours might be full-time hours. Sometimes the hours are part-time hours. I probably I won't be working every day. There are days off. Um, there are busy times where I will be working more. But um, I am going to be the manager slash assistant at my at a hair salon. Um, it's actually this place. I'm working for the hair salon, but the salon is in this amazing spa. They have Botox and and uh, my hair girl does the microblading, which I'm gonna have her do my touch up. I haven't had the touch up. You're supposed to get a retouch every year. I haven't done it. It's been a long time. Um, they have lash extensions, facials, like they have everything there. Um, so, but I'm going to be her assistant slash manager of her little room, um, but her big business that she has. Um, she's amazing at what she does. She does hair, makeup, and microblading. Um, and you know it's gonna be great I'm going to be learning how to wash hair so normally when you go to the hair salon you have somebody that washes your hair or someone that does your hair so I'll be washing the hair I will be um, keeping her schedule organized confirming appointments hold, keeping a hold of her her business phone um, so then that way I can answer her clients and stuff for her when she's doing hair so then that way clients don't have to wait so long to hear back they can you know they can know right away we can get them booked get them scheduled I'm gonna be helping her organize the room and we're gonna be going shopping for different pieces of furniture to have all her her stuff and all her supplies which you guys know that is so me like time management scheduling organizing basically being like a manager and assistant is so up my alley um, so I'm even super more excited because she's so excited to have me. Thank you, Wendy. Um, so, but I just wanted to share that with you guys because I was feeling that sense of worthlessness. Um, so I was doing a lot of self-hate to myself and feeling like I failed and I haven't failed. You know, my business hasn't failed. I'm still helping people. My business just isn't where I wanted it to be at this point of doing my business. It hasn't grown as much as I had expected it to grow. You know, at one point my team was just really like going and you know, so the paycheck matched um, and now it's different. And I was feeling worthless. I was feeling like I wasn't a good leader. I was, I was questioning everything. Um, so now this gets me to bring that happy funness back to my health and fitness job business you know like for a while like it wasn't feeling as fun as it used to feel it was a little bit stressed and I made it that way so now I'm doing things that make it fun with the business I'm going to look into doing some more fun um, activities in my free group I think we are going to do like a step challenge again for the remainder of September um, so we're just gonna do like step into September and just every day mark how many steps we took so at the end of the day people can screenshot their phone or take a picture of their watch whatever it may be just for something fun um, and I'm gonna be offering some some awesome incentives for being in my groups so I'm still running my health and fitness business I'm still dabbling in real estate for anybody that needs my help with that but I am going to be her manager and assistant and I'm really excited about it I get to learn a lot about hair and the process that goes into it um, which always intrigues me every time she does my hair Kayla's hair I'm always asking a million questions she knows that I love to learn that stuff so together me and her can really really build an empire for her health her health business her hair business um, but I'm really really excited to do this next chapter um, it's gonna be different for me it's gonna be hard for me at first like tomorrow night it's gonna be hard to not be here for dinner taking care of everyone it's gonna feel weird for me but I think also I need to do days like that so I can be appreciated a little bit more you know we've always I've, at least me I've always learned that you know sometimes when you're always there and you're always giving to people it becomes an expectation Hey Claudia, and then with that expectation, they don't show appreciation as much, 
and you don't feel appreciated as much. You just feel like it's expected to always take care of everybody. So I feel like one, the kids now are old enough to take care of themselves with certain things. Um, but you know, if I'm not there to do some of the things that I'm always there to do now, when I do those things, I think they'll be more appreciated. So it's gonna be hard for me, but just like I talked to all of you guys about, a lot of times we need to do the things that feel hard inside. We need to do the things that are tough, the things that make us feel a little scared and a little nervous to find that success, whether it's emotional success, financial success, just internal worthy success. You have to do the things that feel scary. So it's gonna be different, it's gonna be hard. Um, and then I'm super excited too because I absolutely love Natalie and I want her healthy. So I am also her food prepper. So I will be bringing whatever meals I bring for myself, I will be bringing meals for her as well. So tomorrow we'll be there for dinner. So I will be bringing her dinner, my dinner, and then our snacks. Um, so I can get this girl healthy, feeling great, having more energy. So, you know, the night before I will pack the kids lunches. I will pack or at least put me and Natalie's food in containers if I can't put it in the actual cooler and in a refrigerator. I can at least put it in the containers and have it ready for me to pack before we go. But, um, so I just wanted to kind of like clear the air with that with everybody. I'm still going to be a health and fitness coach. You are still going to see me posting about health, about fitness, about my journey. That is not going to stop. Um, I'm still going to be drinking my shake every day like I did this morning. I'm about to go and do my workout right now. Um, and then I'm going to, uh, dive into answering all my messages that I have on my social media, answering my email applications for my up and coming group that's going to be starting in a week or so, um, where we are going to, everybody's gonna be doing whatever program they feel most comfortable with. I am going to be doing the same lift program again, the four day a week works for me. Um, so none of that is changing. You're still gonna have me for motivation, you're still gonna have me with my inspirational posts and my lives on here in the morning. Um, some lives I'm, who knows, I might be driving, but usually she does not work that early. So it works out perfect. Um, thank you, Claudia. But, you know, I had a lot of people that were questioning, so I figured this was the best way to explain. So it's making me feel happy and I haven't even started my job yet. I feel excited. I have a reason to do my hair and makeup a couple times throughout the week where I usually just look like a slob every day and you know that makes a big difference. Not that I don't shower every day, but you know, shower, do your hair, do your makeup, look pretty, wear a cute outfit. Like it makes you feel like a woman. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel worth something. You know, me, I just do my workout. Sometimes, yes, I stay in my sweaty workout clothes and I just go right into working like I will today. And then I'll take my shower, do my team training, and then go get my nails done and have my me time. So I'm still gonna be doing all those same things. I'm just adding going and hanging with my girl and, and, and working and I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it. So the reason I'm sharing this one is so you guys can understand how I have been feeling, why I did what I did, um, and to show you guys that it's doable. I'm a busy mom running two businesses and even with those two businesses, I still didn't feel a big sense of worth. So I did something about it and I really feel like it was fate because I wasn't supposed to see her until the 11th, right before my surgery. And Kayla finally decided, and it's funny, this is the second time now that Kayla has done something to make fate take place. The first time is when she told me I needed to get a mammogram and I had never had one and I had to have a lumpectomy because they found something. And then now fate takes in again because of Kayla, because she's like, you know what? Let's just do it. So I made the appointment for her. And I was like, well, do you want to just do my hair color while I'm there instead of me taking up a whole other appointment? I'm already going to be there for three hours. So to me, it was fate. Natalie had no idea how I had been feeling or that I was looking for a job. We are great friends. We're like sisters, but we don't talk every day. We're both super busy. So she had no idea I was feeling that way. No idea that I was looking for something because she knew I loved doing what I did as a virtual coach and she knew that I was doing real estate. So she had no idea, we were just talking like normal. So it was just, to me, I felt like it just 
it just fell right in my lap. Like I had been asking the universe and asking God, like, show me a sign. Am I just supposed to stay home? Like, is that what's going to be best for my kids? Am I supposed to go find something? And then I found something. And it's great because there will be some evenings. There will be like maybe a few hours on a Saturday or a few hours on a Sunday. But it's not going to be every day. You know, so I think it's going to be great. I'm excited. I can't wait. And I, thank you guys for hopping on with me while I shared this. Hey, Jenny. Um, I just felt this was the best way to share it. And if you're feeling the way that I was feeling, just let your guard down and let fate guide you. I'm telling you. When, it's, when something is meant to be that way, it will just happen. It will just happen. You just have to give it time. You just have to kind of like a Jesus take the wheel moment and, and just, just let it happen. That's all I could tell you because that's really just how it happened. And I wasn't even thinking about, oh, I'll be Natalie's assistant. Like that wasn't even one of the jobs that came to me. But when she said it, I'm like, oh, that's it. That's it. That's what I want to do. So tomorrow afternoon and evening is my day one. I can't wait. So it's really just going to be me learning how to do her calendar, her showing me where all her stuff is, maybe me looking online trying to find some pieces of furniture. Um, hey, Adrian, so we can get her room all organized, really just talking about everything, me understanding. Um, and then I'm going to learn how to wash hair. She'll have me do hers, maybe some girls there. I don't want to waterboard anyone and drench anyone's face when they come in to get their hair done. So she's going to show me how to do some hair. Um, you know, and then of course, I could easily just get a chair here and practice on Kayla, practice on Alex, practice on Ryan um, until I feel most comfortable with it. But I'm super excited. I know that I am going to do 110% my best for her. And um, I'm excited for this new journey. Hey, Vanessa. So for you guys just hopping on, I'm just signing off. So make sure you go back in, watch the replay, and see what my new chapter is all about. Love you all. Have a terrific Tuesday. And I will see you later.